Hi guys, welcome to the channel, general reading for my friends Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for March 2021. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, we are going for a Celtic cross. Let's see what we can get for you. Aries, March 2021. Let's see. And we are ready. So, current situation, Knight of Swords. The challenge, the lovers. Crowning energy, Eight of Pentacles. Core of the situation, King of Cups. Past energies, Nine of Cups. Future energies, Ten of Swords. Approach to the situation, King of Wands. Energies around you, Queen of Pentacles. Hopes and fears, Eight of Swords. Possible outcome, the hanged man. It seems that a choice, a meaningful one, needs to take place because there are uh, multiple persons involved. Wheel of Fortune. Divine timing, fate and destiny, life chapters that follow one another. This is an energy that cannot be rushed. It takes its own time. But we need to uh, go through it, especially because we have the young man. So patience, patience is a powerful virtue. The young man is the other um, major energy that for me cannot be rushed. It takes its own time and this can uh, bring in the fear, Eight of Swords, there is no way out. And we fear the Ten of Swords as, oh my goodness, uh, we cannot do anything. Ace of Wands, but this Ace of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, uh, bottom of it, the Ace of Wands can be ignited uh, because the, the Ten of Swords serves to make space and so uh, something or someone else needs to be uh, released in some sense let's go for the spread guys uh, knight of swords current situation excitement for the most part in favor of a meaningful communication that can help i would say to ease a little bit the uh, stuck energies that are involved in the flow. Fast, quick and sudden energy of communication, even unexpected sometimes. But on the other hand, this Knight of Swords can also be the type of energy which is about a quite active back and forth between two persons that decide one way or the other that um, they need to go separate ways and this can be about some some of your persons if the scenario for you involves basically three three persons in order to pursue the lovers, which is the challenge, we need to make space for this energy. That's why the Ten of Swords. So guys, some of you may be with a person, but in reality you want to be with another one. The Ten of Swords will close the previous situation. or going vice versa, some of your persons are still involved with the previous uh, individual and the choice is to close that situation so that the lovers as a challenge can be embraced with some of you, of course. It's not easy. It's not easy. 
it can be done with patience and the right mindset because we see the ace of wands and a token um, page of pentacles judgment energy bottom of it so um, a truth shared to those that are open to receive it um, but it will not come easy kind of going with um, your last quick reading if I am not mistaken that was about a situation uh, where some of your persons, for example, uh, needed to go through uh, an ending so that um, there is freedom to pursue a partnership with uh, some of you guys. We are vibing in the same type of scenario. So the lovers is a soulmate energy, soul to soul connection, super powerful. We can agree. It can be felt on a soul level. There is passion, there is attraction, there is desire. There is a resonance between the two individuals. And that's why it's a powerful uh, major arcana that, that calls for uh, great awareness and responsibility. And that's why also it gets the meaning about a heart overhead decision. The heart is asking for attention because a major chance is at hand at the very least. But there is a price to pay and the price is here in the Ten of Swords and this energy needs to manifest because it will make space for the lovers ace of wands type of uh, connection even if in the meantime we are struggling because we do not see a way out in favor of the connection but still it it can be done crowning energy eight of pentacles there are things to do priorities we need to uh, follow precise steps this man is able to do so that's why he can make all these beautiful pentacles he pays attention he owns his craft he knows what it takes to bring to life all these beautiful pentacles that are the source for his satisfaction fulfillment and success they do not come easy patience time is involved but the reward will offer gratification In this flow, there is no instant gratification, but gratification can still be achieved. Moving forward, following some steps that are due. Eight of Pentacles approach. L laser focused, effort, and the willingness to do all the all the necessary steps basically to make all the necessary steps core of the situation guys king of cups emotional maturity which is positive because if the opportunity is truly meaningful we are not uh, considering it as a as a game we are in uh, we are in the pursuit of a meaningful partnership this is not a fling this is not a, a middle summer uh, dream allow me to say this is a meaningful connection with huge potential and quite a deal of passion but for me with the king of cups there is a factor about the struggling with the communication part even if the king has mastered everything about his emotional side and his feelings Feelings are so deep under the surface that effort, Eight of Pentacles, is required to bring them up so that, for example, another person can understand them properly. So feelings may have been shared by some of you and some of your persons in the past. Uh, because we see the Nine of Cups, that can be, of course, wish-granted energy, let's say a satisfaction the opportunity to see that there is potential in favor of a connection but there are things that need to be done and the two persons so if you resonate some of you 
and some of your persons need to be all in together the effort uh, needs to come from the both of you even if a little bit of time is required so you may have shared feelings you may have recognized that the connection can be a source of satisfaction it may be the one that you were wishing for but the circumstances require patience and maturity responsibility this ten of swords is about a completion this is an ending i will not sugarcoat this energy because the ten of swords is always a challenge um, we need to be brave and power through it but it is rough it can be a disappointment it can be a lingering type of energy about for example if you are together with another person and you decide to uh, go separate ways a, a certain amount of disappointment will be involved because a chapter ends and the same can be true if the situation pertains to some of your persons but ten of swords uh, it is rough but at the same time still valid the point that for me goes with the fact that once everything is said and done there is clarity we know everything about the situation even if it is super challenging and disappointing for uh, whatever reason but the sun will rise up again there is a new dawn on the horizon so new opportunities will manifest in favor of those that were called to power through a scenario like this one and taking action is a factor because we see the king of wands in the approach to the situation there is passion there is desire we can agree uh, let's give these factors for granted but the king of wands is a leader he sets the example he knows how to go after the goals that he has set his mind to but it he will not move without a plan that's why for me is the the one that can be uh closer to the emperor mentality the emperor is about taking charge uh, transforming into actions plans well thought the king of wands goes along and he can get things done the king of wands is the one that will need to take care of the challenging ten of swords type of scenario because around the king of wands allow me to say even if this is around you as a position around the king of wands there is queen of pentacles as an energy someone that can understand that something important needs to be dealt with properly so that space can be granted in favor of a promising opportunity but we are doing things in a fair way in a respectful way the queen of pentacles is a beautiful energy um, she has <laughs> she has uh, mastered and so she can practice self-love which is super positive and her nurturing and caring energies can help to um, to allow her to be perceived in a, in a beautiful way as a source of advices, words of encouragement, and even practical support. This is the energy that um, can be channeled by the person that needs to wait, because these two energies are about a waiting needs to wait that the ten of swords energy manifests for the other one for the other person so that they can be free as i was saying in the beginning it can be done it doesn't seem necessarily an easy path but uh, as the saying goes uh, nothing comes easy and if we want it 
we need to go for it. So some of you may uh, find uh, yourself in the King of Wands energy and possibly you need to take action about some type of scenario that can make you uh, free to pursue this um, passionate soul-to-soul -soul connection for others. Uh, the King of Wands is your person and you are the Queen of Pentacles. Nurturing, caring, uh, able to understand that things need uh, to follow a course kind of predetermined and fated for some of you definitely considering the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers which is quite a combination uh, when it comes to uh, choices in the in the matters of the heart hopes and fears guys the Eight of Swords uh, what if we are not able to uh, transform this uh, connection in a reality the lady bounded in a rope blindfolded surrounded by swords which are thoughts she has no per exact perception of a situation and that's why she thinks that there is no way out ah, yeah, it cannot be done the mind is working against us is an obstacle but in reality, the lady, if she walks forward, she can break free. She needs to trust her intuition that can guide her um, towards freedom. And the freedom can come after the Ten of Swords has manifested. The hope goes in, in reverse. Let's hope to break free from this stuck energy because there are things that need to happen and we need to uh, go through them. The point, quite interesting, comes with the hanged man in the possible outcome. We can agree that this is an uncomfortable position and Eight of Swords can be uncomfortable, Ten of Swords, super uncomfortable. But with the hanged man, we bring everything to the next level because this is a major energy about uh, a spiritual power and the uncomfortable position brings with it a higher purpose that justifies the discomfort we can see things in a different perspective in a different light paying attention to the factors that possibly uh, we didn't notice properly before that's why it is an energy about enlightenment and when the clarity comes in its fullest potential the hanged man breaks free and moves forward but patience patience is quite a factor in this flow guys it doesn't seem that there is the opportunity to rush things in this scenario the ace of wands can be ignited it can come with a page of pentacles token so trustworthy reliable honest because there are no more obstacles ten of swords related and the judgment is a revelation a truth and bottom of the judgment three of pentacles we can work uh, together to build solid foundations this is basically when the heart of our head decision as a challenge gets fulfilled we have done everything according to a fair um, perspective we have followed the steps and now there is space and we can embrace the ace of one's energy there is a price still to be paid for some of you or some of your persons but it's a decision it's a choice a conscious one so guys let's see quite interesting to be honest um, i hope it was helpful i'll continue on vimeo i'll see you there if you want to join me the link is below if you resonate let us know comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best guys take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye